Dan Hollihan at AHR 2012, and I'm here with Don Gibbs of Techmar. And I have I have loved your company for many years. It's just you you guys are doing such wonderful things for hydronics, and and uh, you always have such interesting controls. And here's something new. Yeah, actually, this just came out in December. It's our first control for hydronics system that is chilled water as well as hot water, and it's doing the whole system, all not in one box. all in one box. It's not trying to just do heat pump to the buffer tank or some of those type of things. It does the whole system. Okay. What makes it different? What, why? What makes it new? Well. The, the fundamental problem with a heat pump, of course, is to get the maximum efficiency out of it. The only way we can do that is to make sure that we're not making the heat pump switch between heating and cooling unnecessarily or uh, run at hotter temperatures when you're doing heating than necessary. Or And the, the only way you can do that is by knowing what's going on in the zones. Okay. This control, you can have up to 52 zones. They're all communicating back into the control and it will decide then whether we need to be doing chilled water or hot water. Two pipes switch over into the system without unnecessary switching back and forth and heating up and cooling down the water because that's where you're going to lose a lot of energy. How, how easy is it to set up? Well, if you're familiar with any of the other house controls, very simple. You've got a few adjustments. You've got to decide what type of heat pump you have and a few things like that. Other than that, you're good to go. It's uh, two wires off to the thermostats if you want to. It's uh, that simple, like point to point. And uh, the thermostats, all of the interconnection is done through the communication of the thermostats. It's all built in. That's great. Now, if, if a contractor and engineer needs help with, with the design, there's, well, we work with some standard application drawings. We try to make sure that, you know, that, that shows the way it should be operating. Uh, here's a simple all-electric system. You can go up to a system with a backup boiler. Here's a system where you've got boiler doing snow melting, doing a bunch of other things, and you've got the heat pump doing your radiant floor. You can do radiant floor cooling. These are really easy to follow. I like this. Yeah. It's good schematics. As long as you follow it and don't try to save a few pumps, you know, then it doesn't work. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's always a problem. That's great. Well, well best of luck with this. And, Thank you. And if people want more information, they go on the website, which is? www.techmarcontrols.com. Okay, I think this is a real good one to consider and specify, and uh, sounds like it answers a lot of real-world problems. Thank you.